सलाम सलाम वेलकम टू लेक्चर थ्री जीरो द हेडिंग ऑफ दिस लेक्चर इज हु और हारू जन मारू सो दिस लेक्चर इज रिगार्डिंग दिस विच क्राफ्ट और ब्लैक मैजिक सो देर इज ओनली वन वर्स इन द कुरान where the word haru jan maru has come and our islamic priesthood they have fabricated the fairy tales heaps of lying because they don't have any research it's their business you know to make the people feel poor <coughs> that we started which craft or black magic has the following forms so this is a main form that you know the people who wrote the book they have given this for magic mean anything is supernatural <coughs> if you are going to on the road and someone show you that the milk is coming from his hair so people will stop for you any supernatural thing so that is known as magic <coughs> <coughs> then another name of spell magic consisting mostly of speeches element and gesture mumbo jumbo some different voices different you know noises and different frequency <coughs> so this is known as spell charm a form of magic consisting mostly of material element as an as in an amulet we have seen all these cricket player or football player especially from india and pakistan so they have also black thread in their hands and amulet and this is common you know practice in muslim so they put amulet in the neck of the child to protect it from the unfortunate forces in their car they are putting some verses of the quran in their house they are put, they attach that verses of the quran and some hadith because to protect their house from the you know this uh, bad forces evil forces <coughs> even when you go to the house people have put verses of the quran so that you know bad forces or evil forces should not enter the house similarly you know these people if you go in pakistan so they build the house or when they bought the house their all money is going from dishonest way or black way or smuggling and they wrote on that hazam in fazl e rabbi so this is the fazl of allah because they looted the people by unfair means they made this money and now they are saying this is a blessing of my god similarly all these religious people before reciting or before reading quran they recite auz billahi minash shaitan rajeem this is not in the quran so look how ignorant they are so they are saying that when you start reciting the quran first you say auz billahi minash shaitan rajeem because protect from the from the bad forces of the shaitan check all this religious leader they are starting with but quran has started with bismillah rahman 
So you can imagine the darkness or the ignorance we have. Similarly, there are so many dua, dhru. Why they are reciting? Because to protect from the evil forces. Then conjuration, a form of magic related to summoning a ghost in India, in other countries, in Pakistan. They are controlling the jinn. They can call any time. Sorcery, the use of spell in an evil way. Sahar, habitual lie. This is an epic word, Sahar. The cabinet of the Piron was consisting of all the Sahar people. They were lying when they had a meeting with Musa and Harun. They were presenting the, you know, this uh, lying in a such a way that it seemed it's a very, it's a true. You present the lying or any speech, which is, you know, continuously you are lying, you are lying, and then simple people think, oh, it's a right, it's a sah. There is no sah. So all our head of the states of all the countries, they're all sahel because they never talk the true thing. They're all lying. And their Ministry of Foreign Affairs, Minister of Information, they're all sahel. They're all sahel. They're all lying. Especially in the mosque, all the religious people or the Maulana or narrator of this, uh, of the Islamic speeches, what they are doing in different, you know, gathering, they are all sad, they are all lying. They don't give you the right picture. Similarly, many fundamentalist Christians believe in considering fortunate telling prophecy and witchcraft practicing. It is in their religion. And same in Pakistan, in Islam, all over Sufism, they are basing in that. And this prophecy, prophet, prophet means that person who forecasting, professing, who can tell you about future. But Quran does not call them Prophet, Golden, their representative, their governor, their messenger. And then miracle. Jesus performed miracle. Giving the life to the death people. Muhammad, you know, divided the moon into two pieces. These idiots, they don't know the balance the orbital or the gravitational force. So whatever they are saying, it is not based on the fact or evidence. So this mag uh, you know, magic or this is a, a miracle, when in the religion they could not give the answer of any reasonable question or when they don't have any argument, then they use miracle. So this is also a form of this magic in their books because where their argument, they cannot, they cannot give you an argument there is a miracle from the God. So the witchcraft, the use of curses, potion and dimensions. So this is, I have summarized for you some fun. So now let me come to the Harut and Marut and Islamic mythology. The fairy tales of Islamic mythology run as under a group of angels 
after observing the sins being committed on earth began to ridicule man's weakness. So this is start. Our Islamic priesthood and Mithali look how they, you know, start or you know how they arrange that thing to cheat you. To resolve it, God declared to send two angels, Marut, Harud and Marut, to earth to see how well, how well they could resist idolatry, murder, fornication and wine. So the God decided, let me stop. Fornication, wine. Where is God now? We need him now. This is a hero worshipping, brand worshipping, adultery, murdering millions of people, killing in the fight. People are under starvation. Where is the God now? Why at that time God was active and not now? Just think about this. So these are all fairy tales. No sooner did a light on the earth than both were seduced by a beautiful woman. So God sent them, Harud and Marud, and the beautiful woman seduced both. Okay. Now they brought the sex. Then discovering that there was a witness to their sin, a sin, they killed him. So what Harud Marud did, they killed that person who saw them when he was doing sex with that girl. Was a woman. The angel in heavens, now heaven they brought, look, all is utopia. The angel, angel in heaven was then forced to admit that God was indeed right. Whereas the fallen angel faced compensation for their sin either on earth or in hell. So it, it, was, it should be decided when, where, where we should give them the punishment, on earth or in the hell. Then what happened? Harut and Marut chose to be punished on earth, this was the sin of the God, and were condemned to hang by the by their feet in a well in Babylon until the day of judgment. Babylon. So this is the decision of the God that tied them with their feet and hang them in the in the in the well. There was a well in the Babylonian. Until the day of judgment. And when the day of judgment will come, nobody knows. And where they, they are now. So this is the mythology of Islamic. Now, the same thing you will find in Judaism and Zoroastrian. The story itself parallels a Jewish legend about the fallen angels, Shamazi, Aza, and Azal. The names Harut and Marut appear to be etymologically related to those Harutat and Amritat Zoroastrian archangels. So from where this Islamic scholar, they copy it from the Zoroastrian literature. That their name was Harutat and Amritat. So similarly. But in Quran, the word Harut and Marut, they have Arabic roots, they are not foreign language, you know. So now, according to the translation of the Quran, Harut and Marut were a pair of angels mentioned. They are said to be tempt humans by teaching them the arts of sorcery in Babylon. So this is the, all the literature, all the translation in all the Quran. This is a translation and this is the only verse where this uh, Harut and Marut has come. 
So, Fattabu matatulul al shaitan ala malkul Suleiman. Fa ma kafara Suleiman. Balak is shaitan. Kafaru yalamun al nasa sahar. Wa ma anjalana ala al malakin. Be babel harut e marut. Wa ma yulimane min ahadin hatta yukulu inlama nanun hutna. Fala takfur. Wa ta yulamuna min huma. Ma yufarikuna behi. بين المر وزوجة فما هم بدارين به من أحد إلا بإذن الله ويتعلمون ما يدرهم بأنفسهم لو كان يعلمون So this is the only verse in the Quran on the basis of that they fabricated Harut and Marut and there is a magic there is a you know all kind of you know mysterious forces so this is the only verse and i will explain you what is actually meaning of that so let me first clear harut what is a harut and thanks god that we have arabic this arabic language rules they could not change the rules they yeah, they change the Meaning, but they could not change the rules. So this is Harut is a proper noun, masculine proper. And what is the meaning of this word? Understand, please take it, write down, because all these TV channel and all these, uh, you know, different ulama and Molana, it is their business. They are giving you lollipop. They are giving you fairy tales. So what Quran is giving you now, you can listen. Signifies a tear of government. Means to uh, the government to, to cut the unity of the people into pieces. Or disunity or indecency or fall language in the society. So this is the meaning, basic meaning of this word. Any leader which create disintegration in the society is a harut. Indecency is a harut. Disunity is a harut. All our religious leader, all our political party, or all our different rulers, they, they divide the Muslim people in different, you know, sect or on base of nationality or gender. They are the all Harut, according to the Quran. All these Maulana, all these religious leader, four Imam or all this our Imam, they were all Harut. They, you know, they created the disunity. They destroyed the unity of the people. And they have created indecency. And their languages fall also. This is Harut. Keep in mind. Then Marut. Marut is also genital and muscular proper noun both. It signifies to break or the desert, which is extremely barren, means there is no sign of life. So those leaders who create in the society poverty, hunger, destruction, they are all marut. And there is no life. No sign of life because when you are economically slave, there is no life. That is not a life. It's a death. Quran does not talk about the physical death in the entire Quran. Quran gives us the information. There are a million kinds of death we have which adversely affect our efficiency, our mind, our thinking. Or he rendered it smooth 
he threw him or flung him up, up to the ground, damaged any person, or crumbled, crushed, and broke into small pieces with his finger. So all of our leaders, whether east or west, they all crumble the human being. They are all crushing the human being. They are all. So they, according to the Quran, they are Maruth. So now let me give you the translation because these two words I have explained you. And you know, next, you know, week, the definitely the translation start coming on the website. So you will get the more details over there. The follow Yusuf Ali, the followed that the evil one gave out false philosophy against the power of Suleiman. So what they did, the, the blasphemy were not Suleiman, but the evil ones teaching men magic and such things has come down by Babylon to the angel Harud and Marud. Fresh. I have given you that all of our religious leaders or political leader. They are all Harut and Marut because 70% people on this planet, they are in a problem. They are in confusion. They are, they are in perplexity. So they make this Harut and Marut and from the 1400 years, oh, this translation is coming. Check all the Quran. This is the first time I'm giving you this translation. So the, this translation has destroyed us. <clears throat> this is a nation, what we have. It is because of this translation. <clears throat> the original Quran is not here. <clears throat> what is the translation they made on the basis of the heresy? Ibn Kasir. Paramam Tabri. So that nation we are now. All these praying, their Hajj, their Roza, their Aftar, their Ramadan, and all other rituals, they are not in the Quran. That is why we are in this situation now. We are in a very degradation form now on this planet. <clears throat> Translation now, and the first time you are taking this. They pursued it for themselves and gave the bond to fulfill the obligation. Obligation. Tatlu. Tatlu. Let me bring the verse over here. Okay. Vatabu Matatu. They pursued it for themselves and gave the bond to fulfill the obligation. Tatlu walk behind, following, pursuing. This is the menu Tatlu. And what type of walk behind? And Tatlu means in the Quran, there is a one verse. Vatalla Allah Kamar wa Kamar Tala Allah Shams. Moon, follow the sun. Walk behind that. This is a Tatra.
Vatam also followed. They pursued it for themselves and gave the bond to fulfill the obligation given to them by their corrupt leadership. Shaitan, we already discussed. What was the problem over there? There were some leaders, just like today leaders. They were also religious and political. So these shaitan leader, the evil or corrupt leader, they persuaded them. They asked them, you follow us. That will come behind us, walk behind us. So what? Given to them by their corrupt leaders. This all education was given to them by their club leader. Why? To gain the supremacy or dominion. Allah. On which? Upon the peaceful, secure, safe and tranquil authority or leadership of Suleiman. Allah Mulke Suleiman. Again, this is a mulk, malak. Do you think why 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 they did not translation uh, translate the word malak angel over here? Why they made the translation king? Even king is not the right translation. Suleiman, what is the Suleiman? You know, this leader Saudi Arabia, Prince Suleiman. His name is also Suleiman. Suleiman roots is that he was a, not a king. Suleiman means his root is from Islam. Salim, Aslam, Masallam, Aslam alaikum. Suleiman means that person who, or that leader who removes the corruption, evils, injustice from the society. He is a Suleiman. Look, Quran is saying. He is authority, leader, malak, not angel, Suleiman, cleaning the dirt, filthiness from their society. So that is the reason these, these shaitan were against him. Vattabu matadinu shaitan ala malka Suleiman. They were upset because he was making the reform and he moved all these evil things. So that they don't like it. So that is why the shaitan, they talk to the people and ask them to follow them. Wa maa kafr Suleiman. Look kafr. Kafr. And Suleiman are authority of peace. Malak. Maqafar had no hidden agenda. All these leaders, they have hidden agenda. Economic, economically, socially, to, to control the people. Look, this is the leadership Quran is giving Suleiman. And, you know, in the Bible, they have written, they inserted Suleiman and also in Muslim Hadith that he had 600 wives. They insulted him. And when one day when he went to his one wife, he did not say Bismillah Rahman Rahim. That is why he got a handicapped son. This is Hadith. So, look, what is the quality of the leader? He does not hide anything. And that is the reason this shaitan was against him. But the corrupt and devil's leader, Walakin Shaitan, what they did, had their hidden agenda designed, Kafaru. This is the reason. So they created these people, excited the people against Suleiman. And what they did, entice the people, you are the moon and sun. They are making the propaganda to the people. They are saying, Suleiman is bad. His leadership is bad. 
he will destroy you, he will take your property, he will take your lands, because the reform is like this. He will finish your corporation. With eloquent speeches, with the blend of beautiful composition to make false to appear in the truth. So they were making a, such a speech. And all our political leaders, look, Ukraine war, Iraq war, and now every day their statements, they are all silent. The Quran has used the word sir, the people, the cabinet of the Firaun, Ramses II. They were eloquently speaking, making the speech, and you know, covering the fact of the life with the with the with the lies, with a sugar coat. So, this is so they were all lying, and then which was dispatched to them by their leaders. Now the Quran has used the word Malik for those leaders who were opposing Suleiman. For Malik, for Suleiman, the Quran has used Malik Suleiman, and for these leaders. The Quran has used Malakin. And now Angela, do you think the you know Jibril brought them from what they are saying the Quran has revealed or come down? Look over here. Mandala. We did not send. So this is a wrong transition. They have destroyed the education of the Quran. Angela does not mean that Quran is revealing from the So these leaders dispatched to them by their leaders against the Suleiman was instrument ba in Arabic ba means also instrument. They were working for these shaitan leader just like now for America all the Muslim leaders are working. Whatever America will say they will do it. And so received Bible. They were Bible, so received lying. So this is what the actual thing was. Bible is not a city name, Babylon. It is a main source. When you will start reading the translation of Surah Fatih, you will find everything over there. You will become your own teacher. You don't need me at that time. Because I'm doing this job in a, such a nice way that even the person who does not know Arabic, he can understand. What? Creating indecency and disunity. Harut. So what they did? The agent of the Shaitan leader, they create indecency and disunity. Because Suleiman government was very good. But they want to create a mess, chaos, which is why we have everywhere. And our government has created this chaos. And they did not teach only this. They were not doing only this. What does they think they are doing? But they also say, that we put them under trial. That will make the problem for the Suleiman. Fitna. What is the meaning of fitna? When you melt the gold into the mold, so copper gets separate or all of the metal gets separate and gold gets separate. So this is a trial. It is a test of the you know, capabilities. This is no trial. Pitna. So they were creating. They were testing the Suleiman. How we can destroy his government. To separate 
good from the bad. So we are testing. Okay, let me see which are with us and which are again. This is the fitna. So do not deny or reject our message. They told them in their speeches that we are with you. We are here for good and bad. So we are bad. So please do not reject us. Do not deny our message. So these are their speeches. And the people approached them to learn. They were impressed by their speeches. To them, Harut and Marut means to sow dissension between the leadership Suleiman and his party members. Zawaj. Look, everywhere they use the Anisa wife, Zawaj wife, Imrat wife, Anisa wife. This is Zawaj means the cabinet of the Suleiman Islam. They created it. causes the dissension, disintegration between the leadership, Suleiman and his party member. The party member revolted against him, revolted against him because of their speeches. But they cannot harm anyone except with the order of Allah. It's a busy Allah. Suleiman was a reasonable person. He is a messenger of God. He is a representative. He was a governor of that area. He was selected by the Quranic Foundation. Based on Allah. So he, very, he was a very good leader. Then they learned from their experience what can harm them and what cannot render any profit for them. Now they know that Suleiman hold is very strong. Mean his people are with him. And now then they understand that it is impossible. How we can do it? Then indeed they knew very well that this kind of buying and selling business in politics Palakad Alam and Laman Yeshtara. See I buying every person. All these Western countries, they are buying the American leader. It's a buying and selling business. So they want to, they were, they want to do with the cabinet of the Suleiman, with the people of the Suleiman. You can buy any military general in Pakistan. You can buy any. So this is, this is who we are. We are not Muslim. This is a kind of buying and selling business in politics. Do not have any share in creating proportionality and beauty. Clock. They don't have these leaders who are creating this or doing the selling and buying business and creating the chaos and disorder. They have no their share in the creating the beauty and harmony in the society, in the peace of the society, I mean flock, peace, beauty, balance. For the future society, look what happened with Pakistan, what happened with all Islamic country. I was living in Pakistan. After 60, 76 years, where we are, Al-Akhra. And they, they put Day of Judgment in their translation. And Quran says, the Quranic Foundation slogan, Rabbana Atna Asna Futina Our Foundation, what we want, our present, and as well future for our coming generation, we want them. And this is the best nation who think about their coming generation. And hard leadership, suffering, misery, grief, poverty, and fear in the share of their selling and buying business. Look, this is happening in 
everywhere in the world. If CIA cannot buy, they remove them. The best martial. It's a very bad thing. Buying and selling and removing the people, the honest people from the government. Look, this is Harut al for which they have sold their highest mission. And the people who sell themselves, they sold their self-respect. And for Sahim mean high estimation. Alas, they could perceive it. Alas, Muslim can perceive it, what they are doing now. They are all slaves. They are all working for their bosses. They are managing their, they are taking their salary. Alas, they could, Ya moon, they perceive it. So this is Harut and Marut. And first time I cleared this. So now Saudi Arabia has banned this, uh, uh, you know, black magic and all other things. So what happened now recently? An accused and person, Amna bin Abdullah. Witchcraft. So she was, she was doing. But there is no witchcraft. There is no black magic. So was beheaded in Saudi Arabia earlier this week. She had been convicted of practicing uh, practicing witchcraft and sorcery, according to the Saudi Interior Ministry. Such a crime is a capital offense in Saudi Arabia. And so Nasser was sentenced to death. Nasser's sentence was appealed and upheld by Saudi. This decision was done by the Saudi Supreme Judicial Council. And similarly, a Lebanese man, Sabat, was arrested in Saudi Arabia by the religious police. He was accused of practicing witchcraft and sorcery. Sabat was condemned to death in April 2010, though it is still unknown if his sentence has been entered. When there is a no, according to the Quran, there is a no witchcraft, there is a no black magic, why they give the punishment? Check the Quran. And what Quran is saying, if you kill one person unjustly, unjustly, you have killed the whole humanity. Maybe he is a sick. Maybe he is a psychologically patient. And they beheaded him. So Harud or Marud is not the angels, not the, you know, this uh, witchcraft or black magic practicing, but they were the people who were creating disunity, injustice, creating hunger. So that is Aruta Maruz. Now, all our leaders at the present, all the country on this planet, except few, they are Aruta Maruz. Foreign affairs, Aruta Maruz. Banking, Harut and Marut. Corporation, Harut and Marut. A religious leader, they are all Harut and Marut. How we can save this beautiful planet from them? So this is the meaning of Harut and Marut. And now the Ramzan is coming. So I have decided to you know, repeat my full lecture of the, on, on the Ramadan. So the next lecture will be Ramadan. And after Ramadan, uh, I have prepared one lecture about the inheritance law of the Sharia. Especially they did 
from the century injustice to the woman by fabricating the laws that woman share the half and her brother or male has double do you think god will do it do you think quran will do it no this is injustice from century old injustice with a daughter with a woman so there is a no inheritance law in the quran they made themselves to control the woman so after ramadan lecture then i will make this lecture and then after that i will give you 10 20 lecture about all the name attribution of the name of all the messenger all the leaders all the governor all the representative of the quran of the uh, quranic federation so thank you very much bye bye